Hi folks, welcome to another episode of High End Cheap Tech. Uh, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use a uh, handbrake. These are the ba it's going to be very basic. I really don't know all the options, but I use enough of them uh, to reduce my videos at least by half before I upload them. As a matter of fact, if you've looked at any of the descriptions that show up at the bottom, of the video it'll tell you how far I reduced it from when I first produced it to after I did my uh, hand breaking to it uh, I'll cover H264 H265 those are the only two I use uh, it just depends on the situation so let's get right to it let's go to the uh, intro right over here and check it out. Hi folks. Now if you've watched any of my previous uh, videos recently, you would see if you click on the description below and hit show more at the very bottom it tells you how much I've reduced a file using handbrake this can be very handy I mean yesterday's 193 down to 39.4 it makes a big difference when you're uploading and waiting for processing so you can get handbrake right here at handbrake.fr uh, I'll put a link in the description below like everything else today we're going to take that very same intro the one you just saw which of course has already been done by the time you're seeing it and we're going to compress it down so let's do that right now and as you can see that file is 63.9 megabytes not bad but it's a one minute file so we're going to go into handbrake we're going to hit file open a single file we're going to go to uh, the folder where that is residing which is right here we're going to select it boom and we'll import it there it is now you've got some presets in here uh fast 1080p is a default one we're not going to use that uh, because it's a 720 video. It tells you right here 1280 by 720 and the display will be 1280 by 720. Uh, but let's go to custom presets. I'm, I've got two. Squeeze open shot is a little higher quality but faster the way I set it up. Uh, it's pretty good. Sometimes it's better. The quality tends to be better a little bit but we're going to use H265 because the compression we get is considerably better and the upload speeds and processing are much faster so let's do that I've checked off web optimized this will automatically be checked we're doing an mp4 as you can see our dimensions are here now our video has already been converted when I moved it from dot 3 GP over to mp4 and raise the volume on it to 25 frames a second so we're gonna leave that right there now you got your quality the lower the number as you move this way the better the quality on the other hand the less compression however if you go down here you can set your uh, uh, speed to whatever speed you want I use medium it takes longer but it works and then your audio 
I've got the audio and the presets at 160 kilobytes a second uh, as a bit rate AAC. That's all there is to it. So then we got to pick where we're going to send it to. Let's hit browse again. And we're going to send it right here. And of course, we're not going to go straight to that. We're going to make our file name dash 265. Usually, if I'm using one or the other, I'll use a dash C for the compress open shot preset and 265. And then hit save. That's where our output's going. That's going to be the file. And it's as simple as going up here and saying start in code. Obviously, I haven't gone over all the features. This is just the basics that will get your video crushed. So let's, uh, let's remember again what we're starting with here. 63.9 meg. Now when this is all done, at the very end of the video, when I put everything together and add the necessary bars and all that on the side because uh, my OBS studio is only going to put out like 1152 by 720. So I have to come up with 64 pixels on each side of some kind of background. Uh, that's neither here nor there. I'll tell you at the very end of the description what the total video output size was and how much we crushed it down using this very same program. Well, let's get to it. We're going to hit start. And we're off to the races. Now, you can see it's going through it pretty quick. Two, three. It's actually really quick. Which is unusual, but the time is slowly going up. Uh, five minutes. And the frame rate is going to drop quite a bit uh, as this goes on. The first few seconds are always the quickest. You can minimize this and walk away, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Because there's no point in boring you with that. We'll see what happens at the end here. It's a pretty simple program, folks. Not much to it. Uh, Obviously, play around with it. And if you already use it, leave a comment. If you know a tweak to make it even better at compressing. We are going to end up with a much smaller file. We'll get to that shortly. All right, folks. It's been a couple of minutes here. It's actually been 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Now, remember, we're doing this on a Celeron and 3150 processor if you've got a core i5 or i7 you're just going to blast through this like nothing well let's let her finish we're at 95 percent our average frame rate was like three uh, so it took a while we are converting from h264 to h265 let's see what we get for an output once we're done uh, and it'll sit here for a while, 14, and then all of a sudden it'll just say, eh, you're done, cue finished, uh, most of the time. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, but most of the time, it should. Uh -huh. We're going to minimize everything else out of the way. And we appear to be stuck at the tail end of this. We don't know why. <sighs> oh, you finished. That's all she wrote. Like I said, slow processor. Now, remember we had 63. We now have 10.3. That's a pretty decent reduction. And it, you've already seen the video, so you know the video and audio quality are pretty much the same. As usual, check the description below 
and you'll see what the overall video when I tacked the screen capture sections on along with the intro and the outgoing stuff how long it took and uh, that's all I have for today at least for now thanks for watching